Welcome to Control Engineering Lecture Series. I, Professor Ritesh Dolakia, is going to explain you one very interesting example based on border plot which was there in gate examination. So you can see here in question we have gain plot with respect to frequency for border plot and in question we are a little bit to identify transfer function you can observe a b c d these are transfer function for this border plot so we need to identify which one is correct so when you have this type of question where border plot is drawn at the time there are a few very simple steps which we need to understand see first step that is to identify corner frequencies which is there with given border plot so here if you observe See, this is one corner frequency, this is second corner frequency and this is third corner frequency which is there with this border plot. Now here, what is the meaning of corner frequency? See, corner frequency means slope of gain is getting changed at that frequency means that is a corner frequency. So here you can observe at this instant, at this instant and at this instant slope of gain is getting changed. So you can observe at this instant corner frequency is 1 radian per second. At this instant corner frequency is 10 radian per second. And at this instant corner frequency is 100 radian per second. Now our next agenda is to understand is there pole or zero at given corner frequency. Now how to identify poles or zeros at corner frequency. So that is based on change in slope. Now you see if slope of line is increasing by 20 dB per decade, then one can say there is zero at the instant. And as if slope of the line is decreasing by 20 dB per decade, in that case one can say slope uh, that corner frequency is having pole. Right. So based on increment in slope and based on decrement in slope, we can identify poles and zeros. So here you see first line that is having zero slope and after corner frequency 1 radian per second, slope is increasing and now next line is having slope which is plus 20 dB per decade. So we can say at 1 radian per second, there will be zero as slope is increasing. So here there will be 0 at omega is equals to 1 radian per second. Now you see at 10 radian per second corner frequency slope of the line that is decreasing. See previous line was having slope that is 20 dB per decade but after 10 radian per second slope is decreasing and that is getting 0 means slope of the line is decreasing. So if slope of the line is decreasing, we can say at that corner frequency there is a pole. So at 10 radian per second there will be pole. So let me mention that there will be pole at 10 radian per second. Now if you observe at 100 radian per second, previously slope of the line was 0. But after 100 radian per second, slope of the line is minus 20 dB per decade means slope of the line is decreasing means we can say at 100 radian per second there will be pole. So let me mention here there will be pole at 100 radian per second. So this is first step to identify transfer function. Now step number two that is to understand what is our first line. So let me mention that. Now see at first line there are two things which we need to look out. First thing that is to see the slope of first line. So if you observe slope of first line then slope of first line is zero. What it means? If slope of first line is zero means there is no pole and no zero at origin. So here origin does not have pole and zero. If first line is having 
slope which is minus 20 db per decade then there will be one pole at origin if slope of first line is minus 40 db per decade then there will be two poles at origin if slope of first line is plus 20 db per decade then there will be one zero at origin if first line is having slope which is minus 40 db uh, plus 40 db per decade in that case there will be two zeros at origin so this is how we can understand uh, uh, poles and zeros at origin right so here we have zero slope at first line means there is no poles and zeros at origin now with first line second thing that we need to see is gain at omega is equals to one radian per second with first line so if you observe here we have first line and with this first line gain at omega is equals to one radian per second that is minus 20 db so based on that we can identify constant value of transfer function so how to calculate that you see so you see gain of first line that is minus 20 db right at omega is equals to 1 radian per second so minus 20 is equals to 20 log k and here we will have to identify value of constant k so we can say log of k that is equals to minus 1 means if you calculate k then that will be 0 0.1 so now we have constant and we have identified corner frequencies so now based on these two steps we can easily identify transfer function so in step 3 we need to write standard form of transfer function for body plot now you see standard form for body plot will be constant k into corner frequencies now how to write that so you see at omega is equals to 1 radian per second there is 0 right so i need to write 0 in numerator and i'll be writing that as per 1 plus s divided by 1 right now if you observe at omega is equals to 10 radian per second and at omega is equals to 100 radian per second there are poles so in standard form i need to write in denominator four poles and that will be 1 plus s divided by 10 for pole at 10 radian per second and 1 plus s divided by 100 for pole at 100 radian per second so this is how i need to write standard form now if you simplify this then you see k is 0 0.1 and if you take lcm right then in denominator lcm will be 1 divided by 1000 s plus 10 and s plus 100 so if you take and if you simplify this this will be 100 into s plus 1 divided by s plus 10 s plus 100 right so this is how we can simplify this and if you observe this is our answer that is what transfer function and in a b c d this is our correct option right so here we have identified transfer function for this given system so these are the basic steps which we need to follow to solve transfer function based on gain plot of body plot i hope you have understood this thank you so much for watching this video and please do give your valuable suggestions that is motivating me and based on that in future i'll be making videos